Welcome back to Seeker Shorts. Tom At is asking, what is your opinion on quad reverse Nordics for both field sports and powerlifting? And what set and rep range would you do them with? For most field sports athletes, quad Nordics or reverse Nordics aren't going to be the most important exercise they'll do. Most field sports athletes will have an anterior dominance, so their quads will be overdeveloped, their hip flexors will be overdeveloped and shortened, and they're not going to need to do quad Nordics. Hamstring Nordics will be far, far more useful for a field sports athlete. For powerlifters, I think quad Nordics are actually very, very useful. So we don't actually spend a lot of time in full hip extension or elongated hip flexors and so as lengthening out a lot. So I think it's very beneficial to just make sure you're moving through those full range of motions so we don't end up with shortened hip flexors in a position where it may adversely affect your knee tracking ability. It also helps your quad tendon take more load, which is something we typically see with people who do a lot of squatting, which powerlifters would, is we want to make sure that tendon has enough ability to resist load and frequency and volume.